Hey guys, this is Ben with Shirk Photography and Game Changer Sports Templates, and I am here today doing an unboxing of Photoshop 2021. This is a brand new version that just came out today, and I'm excited because there are some really cool new features that are supposed to be with this. So the first thing I know that's coming with this is some new, well there's a whole new uh, tab up here, plugins. That I don't have any plugins, but uh, this will be your plugins panel here. And I'm going to go down to my filters and in filters there's a new neutral filters here so I'm gonna click on neutral filters and with this there's a whole nother palette that pops up here so I have like skin smoothing here that I can turn on and start smoothing out skin and making things softer so you don't no longer have to go get a separate plugin for skin smoothing it's all hosted in Photoshop um, however uh, there's also a style transfer it looks like it's going to make a kind of a character of something there do that and you can download that separately if you want um, down here is the beta filters which I'm excited about because there's a bunch of different options in this there's the smart portrait that uh, kind of like in liquify where you can change you know left eye right eye different things like that this is exact like different expressions that you can choose from so if I turn this on um, we got the happiness filter <laughs> which works sometimes and doesn't work on uh, it looks I must have moved some skin out here let me uncheck my skin smoothing I don't want that on let me go back here though happiness filter so I'm gonna crank this up all the way to 100% just or whatever 50 there the max it can do and see what how happy we can make this guy here and I am doing this in a composite right now it does not have to be on a composite it just has to be able to figure out someone's face so it can be on any portrait. But this process is all hosted in the cloud so that uh, it's going to take a little rendering time. <laughs> but uh, there's his happy face and that's crazy that I can do that. But uh, probably not 100%, like that's a little bit, uh, parents are gonna look at that and say, oh, what's what's going on here? But uh, uh, maybe maybe like a half, you know, half as much. Anytime you use a filter to a, like 100% of its effect, it's usually about probably too much um, so there's a little bit more happy compared to what he was and it renders actually teeth in there it's it's putting some teeth in there I don't know why on my specific one it's giving them if I crank that up again at 100% it's giving them some messed up teeth I'm not sure why that would even be an option I don't know how to change the teeth I think for maybe if it was facing straight on and if it was a girl they give it perfect teeth and a the guy they're like ah, let's give him a little bit messed up teeth not sure what's going on but these are all again beta versions of these things that Photoshop is still working on and refining so you can give Photoshop your input and tell them what you think about it as you're working tell them what things are not so that they can refine it and make it better so there's happiness filter we're gonna go down to the anger filter here why not let's see how angry he can get he's already kinda not happy but I'm gonna crank that anger filter up <laughs> there looks like he's like sticking out his tongue at me here um, so as eyes are eyes are great angry filter there but his mouth I'm not sure why it's opening the mouth on an angry filter um, but uh, um, we're gonna go a little bit angry let's try surprise then why not crack it up there he's pretty surprised what's the opposite of surprise here Smug, smug is the opposite of surprise there for him. Uh, so that's that's pretty funny. It does a pretty good job on those facial expressions, I think. I'm gonna age him up here and see how old he can look. And this is probably not something you're gonna use very often in portraiture, but uh, um, you can certainly make someone look old. Maybe that's something for like an illustrative effect that you're doing, some kind of fun commercialized portrait or whatever that uh, you need someone older and can't find a subject. You can make them older with this facial age. The younger one does not necessarily work. It just kind of maybe makes his jawline a little bit thinner and smooths out some of his facial hair. Uh, let's see, gaze, all this things does, there's all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm gonna move his head, see if, let's move it to the, I think this is to the left. Right now it's a little bit to the right, so let's see what happens. That, that kind of works. I, his jawline looks good. Um, not necessarily his whole face, but you can see where if it has it has potential. 
has potential for certain things that uh, could work. Uh, I'm probably not going to change a subject's face entirely, but if I need to replace a head and don't have one facing the exact same direction, maybe I can turn someone else's head a little bit and then replace, do a face swap. And, and occasionally you have to do that for like weddings and different stuff, but you don't have the perfect uh, face direction. This could maybe help that. Lighting direction also. The sliding direction on this one's gonna be hard because it's such harsh highlights here. So maybe I'll try out a different one. But uh, you can, there's all kinds. I don't even know what the mask settings is yet. Feathering, it's, I'm assuming how far out uh, it's gonna feather out here. And then I would say output, you wanna change it to probably a duplicate layer with masks. It's probably a smart option. So that when it does render it, it doesn't just de de you know ruin your whole image if it messes it up. Um, let's try actually. I'm gonna hit cancel and try it on a non-composite image just to show you that it doesn't have to do that. So here's a senior guy I'm going up again to filter neutral filters, and I'm gonna ignore the skin smoothing and style transfer. Go down to that smart portrait, turn it on, and let's let's make him half happy here say you have a parent that uh, you just sold this wall portrait to and they're like oh, I just wish he had a little bit bigger smile on it you say all right no problem and you of course you could do that in the old Photoshop Photoshop 2020 and you, with liquify and, and move the corner of his mouth up um, but this is also like changing his eyes and his eyebrows and all that stuff so it's it's taking a lot of factors to make that happiness uh, really work there so it, it made him definitely a little bit happier um, What's this angry face look like here? That's pretty dang good. Gave him a little more squilch, a little more angry. That's not bad at all. Um, gaze, let's see what happens on the gaze here. We're gonna s I think it just gives him a little bit... Oh, it changes his eye direction. That's I did not know that did that. So his eyes moved, he's looking off here to gazing off in the distance. Is he gonna gaze down over here now? Yeah, it moves his eyeballs. That's crazy. Huh. That can certainly come in handy because that's, that's happened to me before where I didn't notice the subject wasn't quite looking at me. Or um, when I swap faces, the gaze is not right and I have to try to move eyeballs and stuff. So this could certainly work. Um, his hair is great thickness already. I need to find someone that's bald. Try that out. Um, light direction. Let's try this light direction. Crank this so it lightened it up over here. It didn't really need lightened. Um, let's try the opposite opposite way. Maybe not all the way. This lighting direction on this one, there's not a whole lot of lighting direction on this. So there's mostly just straight on light from a. I have a big window behind me in this image. Um, that's that's lighting him. So it's kind of flat lighting. Maybe it requires a little bit more dimensional lighting to change that lighting there because this is almost uh, again kind of flat there so it's not really the light direction didn't work as well on this one again I can change placement and feathering I'd have to experiment more with those I have no idea what's going on this experimental <laughs> you got an experimental tab which retain unique details again I have no idea how to check why to adjust or how to adjust those settings or what's going to happen um, but it's all things that will need experimented with and I'm sure there'll be all kinds of cool results from this and again you can tell Photoshop you're happy or dissatisfied with the results output it to a duplicate layer so that I can mask off things that don't work if I'd want to and again there's all kinds of stuff down here so there's makeup transfer which bring in like different color of makeup to a different person sounds really interesting uh, depth aware I'm thinking it's going to add adds a little bit of blur to the background and warms it up so it's like a sunset scene, it looks like. Um, could, I have not even touched that yet, so it looks pretty interesting. Colorize, you could add color to an old photo, which I don't do very often, but some people could find that really useful, I imagine. Um, zooming in, compensates for loss of resolution, sounds pretty cool. JPEG artifact removal, again, something that, uh, if you're doing things right, don't experiment experience very often but I see it having its certainly uses photo restoration um, these are all things that um, 
that they're still developing looks like and you just tell Photoshop you're interested in it so that they know kind of get them a vote of what to work on next I suppose so there's a bunch of different stuff that they are planning to come out with uh, that look pretty awesome um, I'm gonna get out of here and do one other thing that I know is new in Photoshop 2021 and that is uh, this new sky replacement layer so the sky replacement layer sounds super interesting so in old versions I had to select the subject or select this sky and make sure I'd gotten all throughout these now I can just go to edit and down to sky replacement and it's gonna take a second but it's going to replace the sky with and there's a whole lot of different skies up here there's blue skies which I'm currently on spectacular spot skies and sunsets so if I'm going to spectacular skies let's try a rainbow so we got a rainbow in here I think I can make it things darker and lighter so I can warm it up I think it want it more warm um, brightness so the rainbow one is is not looking the greatest on him I just clicked on it for the heck of it but there's these other ones it's doing a really good job going through all the different spokes in through these areas here and here this is a little bit lighter down here but I don't know if that's because the sky is naturally lighter down there but uh, it's doing a fantastic job selecting through those different elements and this is a pretty complicated one it seems like so let's go down I'm gonna just pick a darker sky at random here we're gonna go with this sunset I think and you can see how it's kind of interfering with a little bit of the brightness of his face which I suppose if it was a dark scene it would be a darker face unless of course because I lit him he shouldn't so if I was choosing this I'd want to make sure it's on duplicate layer I could brighten that up just a little bit if I wanted to uh, these shift edge and fade edge I'm not sure what they do yet um, I'm sure it moves the edge of there the shift edge I'm gonna bring it way down oh it kind of feathers it out around specific spots so I'm gonna make a nice hard edge around him there so all kinds of cool stuff that you can do stuff and even foreground adjustments which is I'm assuming like down here it's bringing some of that color of the sky onto the foreground so you can see how it's making it a little more pink I bring it way down it leaves it alone so let's see if I oh the lighting adjustment that's on his face there so I can adjust that manually without uh, even doing a mask here um, so you can kind of choose how much the sky is going to blend in to your other elements of your subject so that's pretty awesome and I'm gonna hit OK so what it does is actually renders the whole thing it doesn't give you a new layer of sky um, it is actually placing that sky in the background for you so you definitely want to make sure you have your original just in case you mess something up but uh, that's pretty awesome I think that's could certainly come in handy for a lot of people and again all those skies are included with the new Photoshop 2021 all right I'm gonna try one more here that uh, I'm thinking it might have a little more trouble with so this is the senior I photographed recently and I'm gonna go to edit sky replacement again so with this if I choose some kind of bright sky here I don't see it going into this corner here and down here for some reason so like on this one it did a fantastic job um, went in through all the different spokes and stuff like that but this one is not getting into a couple of those areas and I'm not sure why it's not doing that but it's pretty close um, let me see if I can find a completely different one here so these are all let's go gray see if it gets gray in there can I increase so I'm gonna it's not bad maybe it is getting there maybe it's just fading it off or something like that um, so the temperature if I warm it up is that gonna get in there yeah, it's, again, this definitely has its potential. I just can't tell if it's in there, if it's perfect, or if I maybe I won't even notice the, uh, the amount. Oh, there it is. That that definitely went in there, so maybe it does work. Um, that's, that's pretty fantastic. Look at that sky in there. Uh, maybe a little bit warmer because I have a little bit warm filter on her. I had a warm gelled light here hitting her. Um, so definitely a lot of potential in this. And on this... Again, I can either choose duplicate layer, um, 
actually new layers is probably going to be the preferred thing that you want to click on so if you click on new layers it will generate the layers actually I just just learned here so it's going to have like the foreground color this one has the foreground lighting so it kind of you can see how it has reduced a little bit of light on her I can use that mask then and paint away at that on the mask if I need to and then it has that whole sky there that uh, that replaced just in case it didn't get somewhere I don't know where it did a pretty fantastic job but if you see something it didn't do you can add or subtract it from specific areas so that is pretty amazing the new Photoshop 2021 has a lot of potential and so far I have not experienced any downfalls to it I you know every time a new version of Photoshop comes out you hear people talking bad about certain things but uh, uh, I've this is so far everything's working for me all my plugins are there all my all my actions all my brushes are all working so everything's been working fine for the first hour or two that I've had this and I'm really excited to use it and excited about all the new updates so if you like this be sure to check out my website gamechangers.shirkphotography.com talk to you later